Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka, Kwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai. And who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days this is going to be a very i don't usually say must watch i might put that on the video you know i'm not going to put that i must watch because whoever's going to watch is going to watch you know when i thought i've heard everything i've seen everything you just find out more and yeah, this is going to be very, very, very serious. It's going to be basically um, the psyops, right? The psychological operation that is being waged on those that have faith. And I've got about four, about four or five pages of articles to basically, to basically let you know what's really going on and the seriousness of teaching this truth. A lot of you just thought this was just a pastime. I'm going to read out some of these notes. Some of you may cry, some of you may laugh, but you're going to see the severity of what we're involved in, right? And when I'm reading this, I'm going to try to keep my cool as well because um, this world ain't quite what you think it is. If you stand for righteousness, if you're someone that has a good cause, and look at the people, everybody that came, even the politicians or whatever, or someone that rose up that had a good cause, what happened to them? What happened to them? Let's go to Timothy. Start this off on Timothy 3 and 11. You're going to find that a lot of people that you walk past every day, they're not good people. They're not good people. Right? That's what you're going to find out. Right? 2 Peter 3 and 11. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me unto Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. So Paul went through different sufferings, okay? What persecutions I endured, but out of them the Lord Jehovah delivered me out of them all. So the reason why I'm reading the scriptures is because even now I've got that this article that I'm going to read, everything that we filter has to be filtered through the scriptures. So first, we're bringing this out. Paul, Lystra, Iconia, and the next region. Three regions. He was persecuted. But he said the Lord delivered me from them all. All of them. Yeah, and all that would live godly. All that would live godly. Godly, you're trying to live an upright life. Right? You're trying to you're trying to do better. You don't want to do the things that you were doing in the world. In Mashiach shall suffer persecutions. Yeah, it does get me angry. You have people out here that want to do good for themselves and do good for the people. But the scripture says you were going to suffer persecution. For wanting to do the right thing. You see how wicked this world is. So now you wanting to do the right thing. People don't like that. Right? And now we're going to get into um the, this article. It's, you're going to be surprised what we're going to bring out. And yes. Let's start calling it spiritual persecution from now. And removing that term gang stalking. It's spiritual persecution. Right? And we're going to go into the psyops. Yeah, it's a psyops. Because yeah. Satan, you know, he deals with psyops. He deals with if he can't get you to sin, now he's going to try to mess with your mind. And the key players, we're going to tell you all the key players that are involved as well. So, where should we start? Bear me just a minute. Oh, there's a lot, and I don't usually read this much articles, but we're going to do a lot of reading of this article and getting this information out. So I think we should start on basically what's going on, right? Now, for order to these things, these things to take place, right? In order for someone to be heavily, 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 heavily targeted in any way, what would they need to be? What would they need to be? Right? There would need to be a cause for anyone to be heavily targeted, or monitored, or surveilled. I'm not talking about five hours. I'm talking about 24 hours a 
day. That's the type of um Malcolm X said he was under so much surveillance, he couldn't even move, he couldn't even move, he couldn't even move. Every single detail. That's proper, that's that's proper surveillance. But the only way that can happen if if it's justified. Alright? Let's go to this, Baba Kasha. I never knew, I never knew. See, all this time I've been teaching, I never knew I was that much of a threat. I never knew that. Which I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a threat as in, I don't go out provoking people, causing harm. But when you speak the truth, right? And what are we speaking of? Another kingdom to come. So remember, these people are still in the world. They don't know how to receive that. They don't, they don't know how to take that. So when you're speaking about another kingdom, when you're speaking about fire, America burning, they don't know how to take it. Bro, they could be taking it in any way. They're looking at you as, bro, you're, 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 um, you're fanatic, what's it, you're fanatic, or whatever they call it, extreme. No, we're reading the Bible, right? But you've got to remember, you're dealing with people that are very, um, carnal, and they don't have any proper reasoning, right? And I may have to move from spot to spot, because we're going to get into it as well. Yeah. Even where I am now, even though I'm in, the, I'm in the field, I'm in the wilderness, they will still hit you. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So much information. So counter, it's a counter-terrorism, right? That's why brothers, right? I've seen it, not just me. I'm watching videos all over the globe from brothers in Australia, Mississippi, New York, um, London, UK, um, where else? LA, and I'm seeing the same thing. I'm seeing the same thing. I'm seeing persecution. I'm seeing brothers when they teach. I'm seeing them. People come out of the woodworks, basically. Come out of the woodworks. Some people walk in fast. Some people walk in slow. Some people look like they're under mind control, which they are. This is spiritual persecution, right? And another thing. Guess who can... This, this, we know who's in control. We elites, the banking families. What they say goes. So we know they're behind it all because they don't want the truth to get out. But now, I used to think, well, the government, the government. Guess who has power over the government? The military. And this is what we're going to get into. The military. You thinking the government's powerful? The military, their branches, they can overstep certain laws. They can overstep certain laws. Right? And what did they start doing? Harming the public. Testing these things. Let's go into it, man. So counter counter-terrorism equals gang stalking. Right? And this is on a this is on, on a site, targeted justice site, which, which I went on. Right? Counter-terrorism equals gang stalking. Equals it. So that's what your so-called gang is counter bro, it's counter-terrorism. You got to just put two and two together. Look around. Oh, there's people following me. Um, why? Uh, uh, it's easy. You gotta connect the dots, right? And the boss—I don't know if I should say. Be careful of saying names. Basically, the boss of fusion centers, led by similar. Hold on, led by similar. I, don't, I can't even say it now, right? The name, the boss was Neil ba Basu, right? Neil Basu. Right? And this ain't me, this is basically someone else that wrote this down. Fusion centers led by a special operation group similar to something of Met of Police, London Met of Police. Right? We're really going to get into this. Right? This is some serious stuff. This is some serious stuff that's going on. Right? Commander Richard Smith is head of a, what, the terror group. And people operate fusion centers assume that if someone's name appears, Please listen carefully. Now, remember, they're given a name. This is passed over. If this name appears on the watch list, stalking and harassment is justified. So, you may have someone within the police department and say, well, his name is on the watch list. So, it's justified and why that's happening. All right, let's continue. See, you got these people, see? See, as I'm doing this lesson, you got these people coming out of the woodworks. You see? You see? Okay, because they get no to fight. Right, but I don't get all bent out of shape because of that. You think it's justified, even if it's illegal, it never occurs to the people 
to ask why this person is on the watch list. So your average policeman or whoever, or government agent, they, they would never say, well, why is he on it? They just, all right, he's on it now. Just watch him, all right? Should they be targeted or not as terrorists? So if one's on this list, you have to watch, you have to study, you have to do a case study and say, well, he shouldn't be on this list. So the officers that, because the officers, they have um, intel. When they type in the computer, your face is on there. Any criminal record you have is on there. So they, they should be able to see, hold on, this individual, he's teaching the truth. Um, he goes back home, he travels here, he travels there. He does this, does a bit of cooking, does a bit of woodwork, does a bit of that. He ain't a threat. He ain't a threat. So this ain't happening. Right? And they are gangstalked because they are whistleblowers. I'm just reading from this article, right? Exposing certain things and political, so-called political activists. And the CIA wants them silenced. So who's behind this? Who's behind it? Bro, yes, the CIA. The FBI. Right? That's the conclusion I come to, which we know is spiritual. And the CIA funds the program. So guess who's funding this program? When you're seeing all the brothers across the world, when you're seeing all these videos, right? Guess who funds it? It's these um, government agencies, military agencies, right? They're the ones that fund it. Through black budget, it's called a black budget, which is t taxpayers' money. So your taxpayer money is going on that, on people that are testing you out like guinea pigs, basically. And using these weapons against you. Okay. Um, Senator Daniel K. Anaihu, 1987. There exists a shadow gov which, with its own air force. Um, peep game as well. H haven't you noticed lately with all these um, planes flying past and these drones? Yeah. Military drones. Military drones. Planes. That look like planes. All right with its own air force, so they got their own air force, its own navy, its own fundraising mechanism and ability to pursue its own ideas. Now this is when it gets dangerous. It's got its own military. We're talking about the CIA. And they can, they can overbound the law in so much ways because it's a military, right? All they need is the perfect disaster and they can say, well, we need to do this. So you got some dangerous people in power and basically pursue its own ideas of national interest, free from all checks. Are you listening? Free from all checks. That's why your prime ministers, your politicians, and your presidents, they get shaky when it comes to the military and what they're going to do, right? They just keep their mouth shut, right? And balances, and free from law of itself. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so we're, we're, we're just we're just getting started. We're just getting started. Right, I'm going to get into more of this. Um, I'm just thinking where to start. Hold on, just a minute. And we're going to go into what's really happened. You really want to know what's really happening? Well, don't get mad at every single person that walks past you or whatever. Because remember. They're in the world. They don't really understand. Some of them do know what's going on. A lot of them do know what's going on. And some of them don't know what's going on. And those that do know what's going on, some of them have been told to shut up, keep silent. Um, others don't care. Others like what you're going through. They, they get a joy out of it. Because remember, a lot of these people are insecure as well. And they're given a position of power and they're taught certain things. Let's let these scriptures come out, this article. Right? So now... Let's start at the top. Yeah, this is spiritual persecution. It's a psyops. So check this out. The control center, right? This is most of most of this is run by a control center. Yes. Right? And it says acquires access to properties or apartments immediately next to target's home. Right? So that's one of the main things they do, right? They see you as a dissident or whatever. So they will also set up a target near your home. I'm telling you how this goes down. And I can't speak for every single brother, but I can only speak what's going on with me. I can't speak for every single brother because it's different. They set up targets near your home, right? So they would go to neighbors, by the way, right? And 
yeah, they would tell these neighbors what's going on, give them a lie, and they would have them plant electronic device, right? With infrared as well, where they can see what you're doing, what you're going, what you're moving in your household, right? Because EC, which is an electronic corpse, has through wall surveillance. <laughs> yeah, so they put these, I've already told you, I've done a video not too long ago about bricks were missing from my house. They probably, I don't know, they probably tricked my, my father and said, yeah, we need to, you know, watch your son. I've told you, right? But remember, I can't do nothing about that because it's not my house, right? So they obviously went to your family when you were not indoors. Yeah, your son, we, we you know, don't say anything. He's under, he's under surveillance, bro. I saw that, I saw that time ago. I don't really speak about it, but I saw that time ago. So they've put, they can install things into your walls, devices, and it has through wall surveillance and punishment equipment. So some you say, well, you're getting hit by this because they've put that equipment in your house. They've put that equipment in your flipping house, right? And you know why I want to do this video? Because there's a lot of people that don't really know what's going on. They've just been told certain stuff, right? And that's how they report target activity. So they're able, how do you think they're able to, people are saying certain things to you when you're out on road. They repeat in certain things because you have this surveillance in your household. In other words, you ever watch that pro, the movie, The Truman Show? Well, that's what's going on. That's what's going on because you have these things in your house now, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, this is a fucking disgusting program, man. Hiya. Right. How are you? I'm a bit annoyed today. Why is that? Because I want to expose this program. There's yes. a program going on. And I'm finding out there's control centers, right? You know about the control centers, America, UK. And now people that are teaching like me were seen as dissidents, whistleblowers. So now you have those that are coming into community, lying about us, saying more terrorists or whatever. And the military, you know, they, they're above government, what they say goes. So if there's martial yeah. law, they can just say anything. Yeah. So this is what's happening to those that are teaching this word. It's right? to hear that. And I'm just bringing it out. And they're putting all types of devices in your household, watching you. I know. But if you say that to the average person, they say, mate, you're mad. You need to see us. No, I don't. I do believe. I think they are watching us. They, they, are. they are. They're watching me on my phone. Oh, yeah. Especially on this. They can hear Especially everything I'm saying. You. Yeah. <laughs> everything. I want to be real. I want to be real with you, sir. When I'm doing these videos, do you get notified? Uh? When I'm doing these videos, do they notify you? I haven't seen Honestly. it. No, I haven't seen no. it. Because people are getting notified when I'm doing these videos. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Yes. And this is part of the, pro that's why I'm exposing this program, which yeah. is um, military run. Yes. And every I time I go. Think, I don't think you're a danger to anyone. Oh no, they see me as a danger or they, yes, they wouldn't put me on this list. Well, that's shocking. I could be, I could be in the most secluded place. As soon as I get him, everybody starts coming out. Well, we we came down there. We didn't come yeah, looking. We didn't, you. We didn't come you. looking for you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying you're one of them, but <laughs> no. there's artificial intelligence. It's very um yeah. the dynamic of well, you know, you're a workman yourself, so you know about all this technology. It's very sophisticated. It is. You know about AI, um, artificial intelligence. It deals with um processing yes. patterns. Yes. And so forth. So yeah. I'm just. I hope you keep safe. Oh, well, I hope I do as well. I'm trying to, but it's hard when you're in your household. And I wanna, I'm want i going to shortly go into the weaponry that they're using as well. You know about EMF, you know about... Electromagnetic force. And they can use these things to manipulate the mind structure as well. So. That's interesting. But you carry on. Save the world. You know what? It's not going to mean that's going to be saving the world. It's going to be the Messiah. Jesus, you do it. Jesus, you do it. No, this is Morgan. My son. Grandson. Okay. Alright, you take care now. Right, so yeah, I want to speak about this program because this is an insidious program which the military are leading. Right? The military are leading this particular program. So now it's a control center and acquires access to properties and apartments. A surveillance and punishment equipment that's how they report target activity along with community based agents. So they're also using people within the community. They're using people within this community. So 
you know, where you're living, they're the main ones. They're the main ones that are watching everything you do. They're the main ones harassing you, right? They're the main ones involved. And I'm not doing these lessons to, to install fear. I'm doing this so you can be aware of the tactics. And it says, Baba Kasha, um, community-based agents. Why are they community-based agents? Because they're in your community. It's the ones closest to you that are doing these things. Um, C C CBAs may be posted in parked car. That's why you see so much parked cars. And they park the car outside your house as well, or flat. And God knows what they have in these vehicles as well. Don't be surprised if they have, um, what's it? They have some type of form of technology, right? They could do anything. They could park a car. They've got their antennas. They've got their satellites. They could secretly put devices, right, in their cars and watch what you're doing. Bro, all these things. And this is, I'm not making it up. This is real stuff, right? And it says Baba Kisha. And they observe it. They park their car sometimes overnight around the target's home. Because you are seen as a target. You believe you have a share, right? And the apartment, so they can be observed over night, right? Observed over night, right? Patrolling cars also around the clock, right? Yeah, you have, bro, you have vehicles that are basically just like 20, bro, all bloody day. It's that, remember that movie, Jeepers. Creepers, right? You have the so-called regulators. You got people that want to regulate, but guess what? They can't even regulate their own emotions. They're triggered. And you got to remember, they have handlers themselves. Remember, these people, they are being monitored themselves. They are being hit with frequencies themselves. That's why they gave in. Okay. Control center will always have the target's position monitored. So. You basically, what's going on with certain brothers, not all, you basically have a control center now within your household. So you've got people watching you within your household, whether it's military, whoever you want to say it is, okay? And not just them, neighbors as well. Right? We'll always, um, that's why when you, you may go to the yard, right? Go home and people rush in, you hear cars rushing in. Or people, this is what people do. Or you see them looking in their phone and looking at their hand enough. Ah, oh, position monitored, right? If they if the perps lose, they will contact the center. So if they lose you, they just contact the center. Some perps are told to leave when you leave the house or flats. This is when you see people leaving when you're leaving because they've been told to do that. Yes, bro, these are devices around your household and in your household. Sabotage, they use um workmen. I've seen that as well. A few workmen. I've had one woman what last year that checked the water. Right, and they're taking um straight. They say to take strains of it, test it out. Another individual that changed the gas boiler, bro. Like I said, bro, that would never happen. I would never allow that if that was my household, right? And they do that, right? Sabotage workmen and women. They put devices right in your household, and to enter into house to change something. Remember, all these people are agents within the matrix. Sabotage, and I also had some individuals as well. That was all set up where they fucking changed the um again. This is why you gotta be careful when it's truth because people get influenced that are around you. They also change what? Um the network as well, community, commute. So when I even you know when I'm on the internet, you know when I'm on the internet, you do yeah, the neighbors and your whole community they're watching what you're watching immediately, right. It's fucking terrible. I just want your Habashire to come, come back and destroy these people, man. Okay. Those that are not repenting. Okay. And sabotage targets reputation with perps designed. So they try to sabotage your reputation through lies, slander, rumors to destroy an image via psychologists. Oh, yeah. Bro, now we're going to get heavy into it. You know what a lot of people that are walking past you, that come up to you in camp, um, that are watching you, they're psychologists. Not all of them, but I always knew this was happening. It is designed for the people around you 
to be uncomfortable as well. So they have to make up lies. They have to say some outlandish stuff to make them feel uncomfortable around you. But really, it's the Holy Spirit that makes them feel uncomfortable. Their whole thing is to discredit targets. They will use newspaper editors. Let me slow down now. It says psychologist. Let's slow it down. And let's get these scriptures now. Let's get these scriptures. And I know I've been over this before, but it's good to always go over it. It says they use psychologists as well. Because we know psychologists and psychiatrists, they work hand in hand with the hospitals and with Tavistock agenda. And what do they study? They study the mind, which is your psyche from what? Soul and mind. How a person reacts under stress. How does a person react within his settings? Psychologists, they, yeah, they study you, but they also study your settings and your geographic locations. How are you going to react if we do this? Where, where will he go if we do this? Yeah, I always say, you're in this truth, bro. You might be the elect, right? If you're of the elect, you think they ain't studying you. They wanna, they wanna, they wanna hack into the mind of the elect. Like, right, this is this lesson. So I love doing these lessons, man. Let's go to Psalm 64. Love doing these lessons, right? They're trying to, they're trying to get an idea of how you think, how you react in certain. They're trying to, in other words. They're trying to map your brain out, right? But guess what? Since I've been teaching, I've had many, many psychologists, high-level psychologists that have came up to me. But get what you end up, they end up getting confounded or agreeing with what you say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, man, sometimes you really don't know how powerful you are. Bro, I'm being I'm being targeted on a federal, a federal level, the highest level. That's like level five, isn't it? Category five. Witches and warlocks. And I'm still able to get hit him with getting hit with frequencies. And I'm still able to wake up happy and still teach the word. I don't know. Have they studied my DNA? I don't know. I maybe I may have superpowers or whatever. Right? It makes you think, why are they doing this? Because we have this word. Go to Psalm 64. So I, knew, I did know this years ago because I was doing le um, lessons on this three, four years ago about psychologists. Don't think for one minute that you're teaching and you ain't, ha you ain't had psychologists studying your moves, what you do. They've been doing that because they get assigned to you, especially when you wake up to this truth. Okay. But that obviously hasn't been working. This is Psalm 64. And basically, they're, they're the ones that tell um, other people around you what to do as well. Yeah, these psychologists. And a lot of them are implanted in houses as well. They've been moved into the community. Right? But your modern day psychologist today is actually a witch and a warlock. Your modern day psychologist. Because um, your modern day psychologists, they, they, they manipulate, right? Surroundings and people around you. That's not um, spiritual power. That's manipulation. That's witchcraft. You go ask Kurt Lewin. You go ask Sig Sigmund Fr Freud and, and a few other them, right? And you know he wasn't a wise man because Sigmund Freud, right, he was a, he was a so-called what psychologist. But why was he smoking cigarettes? You got pictures of him smoking cigarettes, right? What's the psychology of that? <laughs> That's self-harm. But let's go to Psalm 64. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity so these are people that they're, they're all a part of what the workers of iniquity all a part of it right who whip their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words so these bitter words would be in forms of um tavistock agenda right different laws different legislations that are brought brought in by the military first off by the elites right who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their balls to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. So if it says shoot in secret at the perfect, we are being shot at in secret. Secret. Secret meetings, secret councils. Right? And it says Baba Kasha. And it says, so do they shoot at him and they fear not. There's no, there's no fear. Right? In other words, they don't fear... Yeah, how a shy. They don't. They don't fear the re repercussions of what they're doing. They cheer each other on. Yeah, we can get this done. You know, we can control the most most of the population. And it says Baba Kasha. Check this out. 
they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They all get together. They commune of laying snares. A snare is a trap, right? Privily, they say, who shall see them? So now we're going to further continue to read on this and we're going to go into what these traps are. These traps are the devices, okay, that they're setting, right? Traps. They say, who shall see them? So they've done all these things. I've always said this, from the moment you woke up, even before that, there was always things going on around you. There was people that were situated around you. Um, did you have handlers? Yeah, you did have handlers. You did have handlers, but you just never knew. And the handlers, their whole thing is to watch everything you're doing, every everything, to control it. But when you wake up to this truth, you're not under that demonic control anymore. Right? It's not that you're uncontrollable. It's just you're not under that demonic control. And that's why they would get family members involved. That's why they get people that are most closest to you to try to control you. Right? And it says that's why you gotta pray to the you gotta pray whether they depart from you or you do. Right? And you go your own way. Because they're just gonna keep doing the same bullshit. Right? The fair time. Right? A lot of our people that were close to they've been infiltrated, their minds have been infiltrated. Right? They um they say who shall see them? So they're laying snares. Bear me just a minute. So we're gonna go into some of these things. We're not done yet, we're not done yet. Right? They say who shall see them. Hold that right there. Now let's get back into this. And let's go into some of these snares, man. Never trust the devil. Never. Right? So where was we, where was we, where was we, um, the psychologi psychologist they use, and utility crews as well, so don't get it twisted, they're all a part of it, remember Satan's going to use everybody that's building the forces of darkness, they're the ones that are building up his kingdom, construction workers, postmen, bro I've seen it all, I'm not saying all the construction workers are wicked, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying all postmen, but they use them. Them that could be used, those that are easily manipulated. Your post workers, you know, pretty much everyone. They, your neighbours, your demonic neighbours, right? Now they're acting all funny. Now they're wearing, wearing them stupid colours. <laughs> oh, man. Utility crews, recruited for noise, so they have them drilling. Drilling up the ground, and the ground's completely alright. Okay, and that'd be next to your residence as well. And I've always noticed that. Hold on. The pavements don't even need doing. But they have them doing that because it's sufficient funding. This is sufficient. So you know the government is behind it as well. You know it. Right? Utility crews recruited for noise. So they're recruited just to make noise around a so-called targeted individual. Right? And plus they still get paid for it as well. And can include street being the streets being torn up. Yeah, you see it. You're like, you're looking at the road like... That doesn't even need doing. And if you're going to do anything, you know, put some more bloody speed bumps up. <laughs> okay. And it says, and funding, they have funding from unneeded work. It's not, it's not needed, right? Taxi, and that's all their taxpayers' money, right? Taxi, I've noticed as well, they're starting to use the taxi drivers as well. I mean, we started to see neighbours jump, jump in the taxi, you know, quickly jump in the taxi. You're fucking demonic, man. These people are demons. Used as well. Homes are leased. So you also notice that as well. Flats are getting built. Homes are getting built around you as well. The tar around the targeted individual. There's something you have that they want. There's something you... You're definitely not, you, you're definitely not useless. That, let me tell you that. Right? And it says these homes are leased. Leased. And who are they leased to? Um, witches. I have witches across the road, right? Right. You got these teenagers. They just party, you know, um, slut it out every Friday, right? They honk, they honk their horns because they're told to do that. You have witches. I believe that you have witches. You have warlocks. You have juju practitioners, voodoo practitioners. They get moved in, right? You have psychologists. They get moved in, but they don't live there. They live in another area, but they get moved in. Free rent, free cars, free McDonald's. You shouldn't even be eating that crap anyway. And the ho these homes are leased. So, bro, whoever's doing this, bro, they have money. They have money. 
Who's able to fund this? How about you say CIA military, but it's through public funding. So this is what the you people don't understand. You're doing this. You're you're the problem. Stop flipping funding them. Because they're the terrorists. They're homegrown terrorists. Your own terrorists are your own bloody government. They're the terrorists. They're committing terror acts on me. They, could, right, they should be locked up. They're committing terror acts on me every day. All right, the hypocrisy. But they're gonna, they're gonna say something's wrong with you. Fuck out of here, you know? And I'm gonna start putting prayer. You gotta put prayers up against these forces of darkness. You gotta put prayers up against the, the news networks and everybody that's coming, every single force that's coming up against you, you gotta put prayers up. Because you can't do this by yourself. Ain't no way you can do this by yourself. And they're infiltrating people around you. And what else? Noise must be deemed by public as normal. So the public, your neighbors know. Most of the people that, look, if you're, to, if you're targeting an individual, most of your neighbors know what's going on. Most of them know. Most of your community knows what's going on with you, right? They know, because they've been told and they've been told to do these tactics, right? So the noise that happens, they know, when they hear that noise, have you ever wondered why they're not making up it? There's no complaints. There's no complaints. You could have fucking cars speeding past at night time, loud beeping. There's no complaints because they're a part of it, right? They're all coming up against the men of the Lord, only so they can be destroyed. And it's a beautiful movie, right? Because you need the antagonist and you need the hero, which the hero is you have a shape, right? You need the protagonist and the antagonist, right? And the CIA are known for antagonizing. This is how they start wars, right? Okay. And remember their goal is to have you aware of what's happening. So they need you to notice it. When you notice it, sometimes they turn it up. And they were used basically, um, what's it, the blowers, right, the leaf, the leaf blowers. Bro, how is it you're a leaf blower, right, but you ain't gathering up the leaves? Are you a fucking retard? How are you a leaf blower, but you ain't gathering up the leaves? Bro, bro, we're talking, about, we're talking about summer as well. They were doing it just summer. In summer, there's no leaf. You don't need a, a leaf blower in summer. Because the leaves are still on the tree. So these people, they're not too smart as well. And they're being used by Satan, right? i.e. EC operators as well, which are, that deal with electric, they're the ones that um, basically give you some of that pain. Or CBA, which is a community-based agents, get word you're napping. So yeah, some of your, not all, some of your neighbors have been given certain things as well. And they can see within your house, see when you're taking a sleep. And when you're doing it, they're told, they tell someone else, and that's when they, um, do them noise things, loud music, squealing, squealing of brakes. You think that's by accident? That's not by accident. All right, you're gonna get four cars that pass by. They're gonna they're gonna screw their brakes. They're told to do that. Every tactic is supposed to break you down physically and mentally. They're told to do that. Or tires squeak, squealing, drilling, hammering, kicking, football. Yeah, I got some fucking little brats. You know, I gotta stop swearing. I've got some little brats next, next door, they're told to kick the ball on the fence. But you know what I do? You know what I do? I put my prayers up and you get condemned. Kicking football or tennis balls against fence. Um, and you have the emergency services that get involved as well. They're told to honk the, high, the sirens. And what else? People that leave trash. Have you noticed, um, you may live in a nice, I don't know, somewhat nice place. Even if you're living in the ghetto, but it's supposed to be street sweepers. There's trash everywhere, trash, rubbish everywhere. Bro, it's organized. It's organized crime, right? Trash in Target's yard. They also truck tra tra trash in your, in your yard. And this is all done by controlling centers as well. And they, these people also will harm your pets as well, yeah? I've watched so many videos about people's pets being harmed and killed, dogs, cats, and fish. Yeah, they even took out my fish that my father, this was about a year ago, because I've been on this program for some time now, about a year ago. They love killing animals. Oh, you don't, you, the law is going to destroy these people. Let me, let me calm it down. Yeah, how much, bro, I don't get too bent out of shape. I'm just thinking, what, how could such a people do such a thing? 
But you see how people are getting more wicked. That's why I don't want to be around a whole load of people. Especially that people like that. Right? No bloody way. Let's go back to Psalm 64. Um, where was we? They encouraged themselves in the evil matter. These are the evil matters. They're told to do these things. They commune of laying says privily, who shall, they say, who shall see them? And I've heard many different things. Well, um, they have to do it or if they don't do it, they become targeted and all that. Well, yeah, one could say that, but all right. Well, no, does that justify you doing what you do? It doesn't justify you. It doesn't justify you. Because, hold on. One may say, no, well, if I don't do it, they were target. Hold on. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You're doing what you're doing, but you're still being targeted because you're being told to do that tactic. So you're still being targeted. So these people, they've took non-disclosure deals from third party companies. They've been tricked. And let me tell you something. They definitely, them same people that they're working for, these people don't respect them. They're easily, they, these are the most... um susceptible these are the most brainwashed people within society that are doing these things and tactics because anyone with sense was saying bro i'm not doing that rubbish man move from me with that well but they're still being targeted that's what they <laughs> this is not what they don't realize they search out iniquities they accomplish a diligent search both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep this is where we go further more into this program now let's get the next page now Let's get the next page. All right. So, oh, this is serious stuff, brothers. You've got to take this truth seriously. Yeah, bro, we'll be on watch 24 hours. They've lied about you. They said all types of stuff, right? They've said you're a terrorist. They said you're this. They said you're that. All types of lies. All right? So let me... So like, I just want to sit down. Let me sit down. All right? And I've already told you, brothers, as well. In your spare time, when you're not at camp, right? When you're not at camp, when it comes to doing these videos, you want to keep the camera off your face as well, because they have um, yeah, they have technology as well, you know, to you know mess facial recognition, all of that. Remember, they're weaponizing. You're dealing with government agencies that have information control centers, right? Data, right? This is, everything's being gathered that way. But Satan's still losing, and we know through faith. Yahabashah has got that victory, man, and oh man, it's it's beautiful, you know. I'm being real. I wouldn't be able to get through none of this if it wasn't for Yahabashah. Seriously, some days are like, oh no, but then Yahabashah always gets me through. Seriously, right? So now we're gonna go into one thing at a time. It's important that we bring awareness because there's there is some people that don't know what's happening. So let's go into this now. It's, this is part of Cointel Pro, by the way. Yeah, this is a Cointel Pro operation, which is ran basically in America. But you have the joint venture. What's it? The MI? Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that. What's it? MI5, MI6, whatever you call it. MI5, right? They're linked with um, NSA and the CIA, all right? So this is a Cointel Pro thing. Oh yeah, that's another thing as well. The people that are in your neighborhoods, yeah, they are part of the MI5 operations. And if they've been watching you long enough, they know, hold on, this guy ain't a terrorist. He's just preaching the Bible. But that's what they do, right? That's what they do, right? Because they have interest to protect, right? And you find out, guess what you find out they're doing? You find out the same member, you, you find out they're trafficking. You find out they're trafficking people. Fucking now, what the, the hypocrisy. So these are covert community recruits. I'm talking about your neighbors. I'm talking about the people in your community. I'm talking about when you go to Sainsbury's. I'm talking about when you go to Tesco's, right? I'm talking about when you go to your local stores. I'm talking about when you get the bus. I'm talking about when you come at your house, right? I'm talking about these flats that have been built. These people have been put in these flats to watch one individual. Covert community recruits stay behind armies. So they're being trained up. Right, for secu uh, uh, security. Are oh, you want a security? Bro, these people, they're not really. Oh, man. Instruction manual for community gang stalkers. Operations in general are active surveillance type 
Passive surveillance is watching target covertly to obtain information. So there's different forms of targeting. So they would be the ones, say, say you have old people, right? An old person that can't really walk, right? This would be the individual that would stay within doors and watch that, um, surveil that individual, right? And you have passive surveillance watching target covertly, with it, that's in um, households or cars, more so cars, to obtain information equals active surveillance can include information gathering also make the target know they are under surveillance right okay beyond active surveillance and that's why you have certain neighbors this stupid bitch as well yeah she went and parked oh, let me park my car right in front of his house and uh, so you know he he notices bro i don't care about all that because we know you're how surveilling you see it's a, it's a fair tactic to keep you in fear so you don't move and then when you don't move they then they can say well he's lazy he ain't doing anything but why is that person lazy are you sure you're not harassing that person oh the lord jehovah Shea hates people like this man and guess what a lot of christians are doing these things as well a lot of your churches have been recruited because you're exposing their churches All right and it says baba kasha and beyond active surveillance, agent perform acts to keep target uncomfortable. <gasps> so the whole thing is to make you feel uncomfortable wherever you are, around the clock. That's 24 hours. But they can't, bro, they, they're not up 24. They're not up 24. They can't be 24 hours. They change shifts. That's why there's different people that do different things. Then when it gets to 7 o'clock, you have the pizza bikes, right? From Domino's Pizza right then you have these other people that are you know basically they've been trafficked right you know the, the delivery use a lot of these people have been trafficked into the country right so if the government agencies give them a bit of money and say you know what would you just go around the clock there about seven o'clock would you just go around like a few times they do it because they've been trafficked as well <laughs> okay because when you look at these people they can't even speak proper english right and it says baba kasha Agent perform acts to keep target uncomfortable around the clock. These operations are silently approved. Silently. So there is a level of government backing behind this. Yeah, your governments know what's going on. And covered for by official justice system. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this would mean, you know when you're watching that program, right? Of the committee, the committee service, you know, parliament. It's members of your parliament that are down with this. Because they see us that are teaching this truth as a threat to what they're doing. You've got to understand what's going on. Right? Because you do know politicians, certain politicians, they know people, right? In high places. Oh, man. And it says Baba Kasha. And the average individual does not see it as a crime because they're reprobates. That's why. Agents must take great care that every act is plausible deniability. There's something called plausible deniability so if someone's coughing right coughing the sniffing they get people to sniff around you as well to try and irritate you do you know what your is going to do to these people if they don't repent i'm talking about those on the side he's going to fucking destroy them plausible deniability so coughing sneezing shouting speeding your vehicle right that could be case as plausible plausible deniability so they would do these things a lot to try to irritate the target now if the target snaps the average person must say hold on i'm just coughing i'm just stamping my feet i'm just kicking a ball against the wall these are all tactics they're covert tactics these people have been told to do these things and this is really it's a war waged against the elect those that have this truth but your arms are too short to box with God. They're not ready boxing against. They're fighting against God, the Heavenly Father, right? It may seem like it's you, but that's that's who they're waging war against. So now, do you see how people are being manipulated, right? And it says, "Oh, I can hear the helicopter in the distance. You're going to have the helicopter that passes over soon." They're even told what to do, right? And it says, "You hear it," and it says. Plausible deniability, which is something you can do on a low, 
but it's plausible. It, it doesn't. It seems harmless, right? And it says they have people coughing, sniffing, right? So if the target complains, they push it off as, oh, you're overreacting or you're mentally ill. They will be trained on how to do this. And these people get trained. What fucking... I've got, let me, I've got to stop saying that. Let me stop swearing. What scumbags? What scumbags? So I'm finding out more and more, not everybody, but the majority of people that you're around, they're scumbags, low lives, man. They're told to do those things, right? And they use psychologists to find ways to maximize stress. So there's psychologists that are involved as well. Say, do this tactic, try that tactic. And feelings of hopelessness. So it's to make you feel like you're hopeless, like you ain't got nowhere else to go. But we're not hopeless, we're hopeful. Excuse me just a minute. Baba Kisha. I always need to let the scriptures come out. Right? We're nearly what? An hour into this lesson as well. Right, bro, we're not hopelessness. They're, bro, they're hopeless. That's why they're doing what they're doing. All these things need to happen. It's prophecy, man. Scripture said these things would happen. Yeah, we're not hopeless, right? Quickly got a scripture. Bear me just a minute. It's a blessing to go through this. And, bro, if you're going through this, you're very, mentally, you're very, you're very, very strong because um, most people couldn't go through it. You're a very strong individual. Don't get it twisted. Right? It's to, basically, it's to push you to the brink of insanity, man. All these, every tactic is supposed to build up. Every single tactic is supposed to work against you, right? To break you down mentally, physically, spiritually, in every single state, right? These same people that are doing these things, bro, they don't care about you. They don't care at all, right? So, Baba Kusha, bear me just a minute. Check this out. Verse 18. I'm just going, I want to get that scripture where it talks about the hope. Right? And now I know these things are happening. Of course, I'm more in prayer. I'm definitely more in prayer. Crying out to you, Havashaya, because when these people do these things to us, now the Lord ain't going to destroy every single one of them immediately. He does it one at a time. And that's why so many of them do it because it's like, oh no, well, who do I, who do I combat? Bro, it's, it's people, it's, it's, it's systematic as well. Right? It's systematic. Right? But we know the Lord, He gets every one of them individually. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? Baba Kisha, let's go to Romans 8 and 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is not seen is not hope. But for what a man seeth, why did he get hope for? We are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope for what the man see. What it, so, hope, we have that hope. Now, all these tactics are to make you hopeless, to make sure you, you're stuck and you don't move. Because you've heard testimonies of people that they were once happy, they lost their happiness, and they became just like isolated. They stopped doing everything. They stopped, you know. That's what it's designed to do. Because the potential is seen. The reason why you were put on this program, the reason you were so heavily targeted, because someone saw that you were a threat. The individual, as I was speaking to him earlier, he said, I don't think it, no, no. The reason you're put on this, because you're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. It's not that you're doing anything harmful, but you're a threat. And the government agencies, the CIA, take it as a compliment, they see you as a very, very strong-willed individual. Very strong-willed. Mentally and spiritually, every way. Very strong-willed. They, they've been studying you. Before you're put on this program, you're studied for several years, by the way. Several years. So they were watching you. They were following you. That was all happening. Right? That was all happening. Some of your neighbours were, from the moment you moved in, they had eyes on you. Right? And it says Baba Kusha. But the thing is, they, they didn't realise that you knew that you were onto them before they were onto you. <laughs> and so happens it's, yeah, they were watching you, but they were watching a potential member of the elect, right? Which would probably, uh, you know, condemn them. Which, hey, it's not us. It's the words. Right? And it says Baba Kusha. Let's keep this going. First, trying to degrade health and mental. So, 
Oh yeah, another thing I've learned as well is, um, bro, you can't be eating pure junk food. If you're, bro, if you're on this program heavily, depending on what level you're on, you can't be drinking, um, eating pure junk food because they're trying to destroy your health anyway. Remember, mentally, physically, everything. Everything. So make sure you're eating good. Mentally, they're trying to destroy you by degrading you. Right? And it's getting boring now, bro. You need to change it up now. You know? I don't really hear it as much anymore. You know, the useless, I don't hear it as much now. Right? They, get, they, they got bored of that now. And they need to change it up. So calling someone useless, that's, that's a good degrading tactic. Trying to degrade you. Right? You've got to see all these tactics. Right? But just know they're working for Satan. And we know we're not useless because we know Yahweh has given us talents, right, to be useful. And what else, what else, what else? Um, they hire technicians in all fields. I've noticed a pattern as well. People with, you know, them orange jackets on. And when you look at them orange jackets, right, this is someone that deals with electricity, right? Railway jackets. These are, these are hired technicians, man, <laughs> in all fields, i.e. telecommunications, right? Electric power building and electrical systems, right? And utility employees. So they're even using contractors as well, right? They're even using bloody contractors as well, right? And utility service employees. Okay, so this is, this is, whew, it is quite serious. It's quite serious. And please don't get into that rut where you're asking, you're crushing yourself. Well, why are you crush it, bro? Don't suck. Well, have I done something wrong? No, you haven't done anything wrong. Right? But you're just, you're realizing how demonic and wicked this, this system is. I've seen it. I saw it last week. I saw it last week. Not just last week. I've seen people in orange, do you know them orange jackets? Railway, railway jackets. So they're also hitting you as well. They, they're the ones that are being told to hit you with a frequency, i.e. contracting, i.e. contracting, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, this is how powerful you are. Um, electrical systems, utility employees in all fields use these positions inflict, that may inflict what may look normal punishment upon the target on an ongoing basis. But if you pray, then it's not on an ongoing basis because the Lord, he what? He's the one that what stops them attacks. When you've got surveillance, I hope you're being edified. I'm just bringing out this article that I found. Now, every target will have at least CBA watching them, which are people in your community, right? At all times, even while at home and sleep because they get notified, by the way, and they have certain things that they've been given. Right, even when you're asleep, CBA team will be given cell phone number for reporting targets, action, and movements to local control center. So, don't think these people, when you come outside your house, they're not ringing the control centers saying he's just left. Such as target turns lights, lights on. So, this is basically what they tell them they just tell them certain things. Oh, he's turned the light on now. Um, he just got in the shower. Um, he was just eating um, pancakes and eggs. Um, you know, he's just reading the Bible. Um, his father just got in. Bro, I've even seen one of my next, bro, I've even seen him one of my next door neighbours. As soon as I go out, in early in the morning, I ne he never knew I was watching. He's running to his window to see when I'm, bro, it's like narcissism as well. It's like there's a hint of narcissism in it. Right? Narcissists will love this type of job. Um, eat, meal, they tell you all the things. Travel, some of these, ac some of these actions will be performed by electronic electric corpse ec it's based on sensitizing the target so you know what this sounds like as well it sounds like there's a mix of mk ultra as well that's what it sounds like it sounds like someone's trying to control you right um they are never told they are under surveillance this is basically the target even though i bro i know listen i don't take it personal I know, bro, I've known I've been under surveillance for, bro, a long time. Even before I was put on the program, I knew I was under surveillance, right? I used to go golf, right, with the family. You had people jumping out of bushes with their dogs, bro. They were watching me a long, a long time ago, 
Long time ago. You had police officers walking past me. Long time ago. You had some individuals that came on, um, some family members that came around my house. And my father was playing some music, right? And next thing, an individual says, um, you know, gives me a leaflet. Um, you got to keep the music that, bro, one day of music. Well, hold on, hold on a minute. What about the noise campaigns? And you've got this idiot neighbour as well that's complaining. Um, uh, I had to get my kids out of the, I had to get my kids out of the room because um, the music was like, bro, bro. My father, he ain't like a party, party man. He throws a party once within the whole year, a whole year once. And you've got the next door neighbour making up noise. You're a faggot. I tell you that to your flipping face. You're a faggot. You worried about my father, bro, bro. My father doesn't, hasn't worked that hard, so he cannot play his music loud. He does it once a flipping year. And you've got this individual making up noise, right? Um, uh, you, uh, you know, he was playing music loud and... I had to move my kids, bro. They're not kids anymore. I've seen, I've seen these sons. They grow, they grown now, right? Right? These fucking, ugh. you got these weirdos, man. Weirdos. But you gotta understand, they're under MK Ultra. These people under mind control. It's demonic. Everything ties back to the scriptures, right? Because I had to confront one of the next door neighbors. That, bro, what are you doing? It's five o'clock, four o'clock. Before he was going to wherever he was going, he was told to sl slam the dustbins, slam the door. And I said, bro, what are you playing at? It's early in the morning. What's wrong with you? Oh, um, and you know that you know you know what he said? Oh, I'm 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 sorry, I'm sorry, but but um, you know, you had you had a party, your father had a party, and um my kids were bro, what the hell has that got to do? What's that got to do? With you make it, what's that got to do with you making that noise? So, bro, you got a lot of weird, weird stuff. These people have been told to do that, to try to make your life a living hell. But guess what? We're in a position. We're in a better position than them. These people are miserable. They have nothing to live for. I just thought I'd throw that out there. And this was a what? Couple of weeks ago, when they had some woman moving right in that into that house. She was wearing all types of sex kitten colors so bro there's a lot of mind control stuff there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you may not be privy to right just thought i'll put that out there this is the type of stuff i'm dealing with right and i'm still managed to stay sane and um where else was we where else was we um such target turns like oh, hold on we went to that um cba are given instructions where they where to carry out so the people within your community they're told where to go and all that we've done lessons on this before so now we're done with that sheet so let's get back into the scriptures i'm just trying to get as much information for brothers and sisters not paranoia not so you focus on it so you know what's happening okay so you know what's happening and therefore you could fight it in the spirit because really what does it all boil down to? It's all spiritual, even if these things are happening in the physical, right? But it's really turning up, right? So hold that right there. Now we're going to go to Psalms 10. Check this out. Right? And guess who's behind this all? Guess who's behind it? It's government agencies. Yeah, yeah, MI5. Who can pull this off? Who can pull this off? But the MI5 and military... Or government agencies. Nobody else could pull that off. Because a lot of people do say, um, I, I think it's my next door, I think it's my next door neighbours, um, you know, they're the ones yeah, they're doing certain things, but they don't have enough power to pull it off. So you're telling me it's your next door neighbour that causes planes to get involved, um, helicopters, planes, drones, um, your train set your next door neighbour doesn't have that much power unless unless he's a, an, an an elitist or he's or he has connections to the military or the police. That's the only way your neighbours could be able to do something so sophisticated. Unless they have connections to military or police enforcements or retired police enforcement. That's the only way. But who's running it? Military um, organisation. It makes sense. It's a psyops. <laughs> okay. So now let's go to Psalms 10. Before we go to Psalms 10, go to Matthew 24, then we go to Psalms 10 after. Now, actually, now go to Psalms 10 now. 
<laughs> Bro, listen. These are not no low level tactics. These tactics are to destroy, completely destroy an individual. Completely. These are high level SAS, right? Military tactics, right? Go to Psalms 10. Why stand for far off, O oh Lord, you have a shout? Why hide thyself in times of trouble? Sometimes it does feel like that. The Lord is hiding himself, which he's not hiding himself, by the way. Right? Check this out. And it says, Baba Kishar, the wicked in his pride have persecuted the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So it's the wicked that are persecuting the poor. Spare me just a minute. Bro, you got people walking past being no. Here it is. You just had this one, well, I wouldn't say lady, right? This young lady, right? That walks past me, strutting her ass. She looked all right. She looked all right. <laughs> strutting her ass by herself. Uh, and I so happen to be in a secluded spot, which I like teaching in a secluded spot. And she happens to be walking past, and she was looking at a handler. She was just looking at a handler. See, see what I mean? It's orchestra is very hard. If you're on this program, bro, I don't want to say you don't trust anyone, but you definitely have to have discernment. That's a fact. Definitely have to have discernment. And who knows? That young lady was probably sent to see, oh, am I going to do anything? You know? You know? And they tried to say that as well. Oh, they're rapists. They're this. Bro, they say anything. These people will say anything. They make up any type of lie. Right? Remember, they don't want you to have any type of influence. Go to Psalms 10. The wicked in his pride have persecuted the poor. Let them be taken in the device they have imagined. They're going to be taken in them same devices, man. All these devices, they're going to be taken in it. Right? Verse 3, for the wicked boast of his heart says, Zaya. And this is through, yes, military corporations as well that are serving really the elites. Because now they do answer to the, the elites. Right? Because they're not above the elites, by the way. And blessed the covetous whom the Lord abreth. Right? The wicked through his pride of his countenance will not seek after the heavenly father. No, the most high is not in his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments above are far above out of his sight. As for his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall never be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. This is how these people are thinking, these government agencies. His mouth is full of curse and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Right? Yeah, they set up certain places. Government contracting as well. In secret places doth he murder the innocent. Right? And a lot of this is by silent weaponry as well, which we're going to go into. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. Which goes back to what Peter's. First Peter's four, five, or four, and eight. Never trust that enemy as like a roaring lion. A roaring lion tries to get close to you to devour you. He lieth in a way to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. So this is what's happening on a spiritual level. This is what's happening. Do this the scriptures sum up everything that's going on? Right. Seriously, man, be careful of these traps, right? You never, you know, you, you didn't sell out like them, you know, you kept your integrity, right? You're a free, free thinker through the scriptures. They don't like that, right? They don't, they don't, they don't want people like you around, walking around, right? Being able to make right decisions through the scriptures. So now we went to that, Baba Kisha, right? Now, Make sure I'm not missing anything. So we went to that Psalms 10. It is about, what, five pages, man. I hope you're being edified. Now, the next thing is called Syax. Syax is audio visual, okay? Consists of agents of action. So one thing I've witnessed, right? Okay. Say you're traveling, say you're traveling to... Anyway, Shadwell, I don't know, New Cross, whatever. By that time you're traveling, you're going to have people that are placed in your way to act in front of you. Right? 
No, like a movie, fair to, yeah, it's fair to. In other words, they're deceived. Who would deliver messages to target via, and this is, some of these messages are done what? Electronically. Because they're under MK Ultra. Remember, these people, they're, they're not in the truth. That's why they're doing what they, because they're not in the truth. And they deliver messages to the target via audience who follow a set of guidelines. Right? While play acting, right? While play acting, they, they have to follow these guidelines by a handler, by, by the way, which they're given. So before they even meet you, when you come around, they already know what to say. While play acting through utilizing messages. Key thing through utilizing messages transmitted by what via phone. Same with movies, right? Hence, from term surveillance role player. So, you got also surveillance role players. So, where's this been done from? Control centers as well and handlers, right? They've been told, say this, would you do that? Would you go here, right? And the goal is to modify behavior by destroying their... That's really the end goal. Modify your behavior and to destroy the individual who has a very, very strong will. Via, continue demoralize, right? So they, they try to make you... They do things to try to make you feel low, right? Attrition is erosion of will. So they're trying to break your will. This is how serious this battle is. That's why they call it war of attrition. To make one feel hopeless. But we're not hopeless, we're hopeful. Right? And to make you think, oh, there's nothing else I can do. Like, I'm just, whatever I do, it's just like, nothing. No, no, bro. Bro, that's deception. We're winning. This is based on, it's basically witchcraft. It's a psychological operation. It's witchcraft. It's manipulation. It's black magic. That's why they have to move in these people around you. You see a lot of Nigerians. Why do you think they'd be moved around you? Right? Because a lot of people do voodoo as a way of, of, of hypnotism. Voodoo is hypnotism, by the way. Voodoo is hypnotism. Voodoo is mind control. That's why they're doing all those, those things. But it's still not working. Alright? Got these flipping robots walking up and down on their voodoo. Looking like zombies. Alright? Useless, like flipping zombies. They're under MK Ultra, right? And it says themes are used to transmit painful stimuli as well. I've told you about the cars and the EMF. That's to induce sometimes painful stimuli, also called triggers. Via, they call it neuro. Key thing, they call it neuro linguistic programming. So. That's what's being done, right? See, there's a hottie there that's walking past. <laughs> and they always send the hotties as well. That's why it's called Neuro Linguic Programming. Okay, that's what it's called. Neuro Linguistic Programming. That's what it is. Right? See, the she just walked past again. <laughs> Me and Neuro, I, bro, this is, bro, basically, from everything I'm seeing, basically, it's a government agency that are trying to frame me some way, somehow, because they don't have anything on me. Now, I'm not, I wouldn't say I was sinless, but my sins have been covered by Yahweh Shai. I have committed sins, I'll tell you. To the FBI, if you're listening to the NSA, I have had sins, but I've repented of my sins. That's, that's the thing. Okay. So... They're trying to frame me. I'm telling you, they're trying to frame me. Because why would they send all these different people? You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Right? Oh, yeah, that's another thing as well. You know how, you, how they had that young lady walk past? They're able to... um. You know why there's a lot of RAP, rape, as well? Because you know though they have technology. They have technology where they can actually do that as well. Where you've got people, you know, R-A-P-E, right? And um, why did they do it? Because it's this technology. This is very advanced. It's very advanced. That's why it's called mind control. Yeah, they have technology that can do that. 
right? You go into Royal Ascot, right? And your horse loses. You know they, you know they have technology that can make a horse maim, maim its leg, so it doesn't win that race. They use this for all types of different things. This is neuro-linguistic programming. Another side is basically neuro-linguistic programming is another form of social conditioning. But because you're so powerful, because you woke up to the truth, that's why every time you watch BBC News, you see the people in the background getting angry. Oh, no, we need to change the set. Put this news on. Bro, that's CIA behind that, military behind that. Government control, but military behind it. Ultimately, the elites. And it gets worse when they use the DEWs, which is do destroys basically facilities. Yeah, I've, I've had that as well when I'm watching the TV. And certain people would drive past. And you know they're using some type of device. And all of a sudden, my, my, my TV just blew. Not just that, my phone as well. That's why that last device, that last page, you know that last channel that I had? Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. The first one. That's because my battery completely just... It decreased, it didn't increase, it decreased. They have these facilities. These are military facilities to off shoot what we're doing. And that's what Jews are known for. And they have the bright light techniques. They they um use the neighbors as well. Right? They imply it in the neighbor's house to to, to um so it's facing your way. They have the acoustics, which I've mentioned that before. They used to threaten and intimidate. Last week, let me tell you this. Last week, they turned it up. Bro, I'm telling you. Every car, every vehicle that went past, I could hear it. So they turned that stuff up. You know, like when you have a speaker, right? You could turn the speaker up. Treble, volume, frequency. You could turn that stuff up. Right? These are, these are, <laughs> these are, these are military devices. Which are known as the caustics, right? Right? Remote. It could be remote controlled. You know how you have... um. You remember them old portable radios? That's what it's like. Put Turn up the frequency. Turn it down. Put up the antenna. Right? And they use this to threaten and intimidate. Right? They turn it up. Right? Discredit. Silence. So, you may have a car that's 400 meters away. 600 meters away right or further it may sound like it's right next to you it's not next to you <laughs> because they could turn out these are acoustic devices but i thought we were so-called useless so why are you using these devices on someone that's so-called useless idiots and it says in addition um you also have yes yeah, i've said this security contractors are being hired Right, where I'm living right now, you bro, you got them everywhere, and it's what well, it takes that long. It doesn't take that long to put up a building, so you t it takes a year and a half to to put up a building. But now these people, I'm seeing different videos as well. I like to watch videos on this. They're put there to cause what havoc, to monitor, and harass. That's why they're put there. This is this is government. This is military government based. Right are being hired as military thugs to gang store and they, I call it psycho sadist techniques so they use psycho sadist techniques yeah you even got contractors that are involved as well how low can you get and the point of the program is to maximize psychological effect and leave minimal evidence so in other words bro they're trying to destroy you bro what, do, what, what else do you want me to say Oh, they're just doing it. It's just a bit of fun. They're trying to destroy. It's it's ba to destroy you by any means necessary. That's why it's called no touch torture, by any means. Um, is it because is it any crime? It's no, it's no, it's no, no, it's no crime you've done. This is what they were put. This is what they were saying. Oh, we need to do it because we're under suspicion. He's done, bro. If you've done a crime, they've been watching you, right? Um, and if you've done a crime, they're not going to send people your way to someone that's done a They're not going to do that. Because then you're putting the, the individuals, the perps in danger. So it's not that. It all goes down to the Bible. They hate the Bible. They hate the Messiah. And the Messiah hates them as well. Right? 
Um, and a Soviet engineer, this is a quote, who built RF mine interference machine on Soviet schematics. The machine successfully transmitted images into CNN reporters' mind. Advice for certain brothers and sisters, those that are listening. I want you to take up some time and please watch the news. And when you're watching it, watch, at, don't, watch those that are presenting the news before you. I'm going to say that again. When you switch on the news... Watch those that are presenting the news before you, right? Watch those that are presenting the news before you. Look at their eyes. Look at how they're acting. And tell me if they're not under some type of form of mind control, right? And manipulation, okay? And a lot of them are sex kittens, by the way. That's why they wear them. Um, <laughs> that's why they wear them colours as well and them, them patterns, right? Them animal patterns. But we're going to shut off soon. <laughs> The machine successfully transmitted the CNN's reporter's mind engineer that so he could scale up. So even the CNN reporters, they under that same thing. It's programming. Oh, man. And he could scale up the machine to use the whole town, causing them to do things against their own will. So I know a lot of people ain't going to believe what's being said. I believe it because I'm seeing this with my own eyes because I believe I'm awake, I'm in the scriptures, so I'm able to see this, right? Remember, this was a Soviet engineer that said he's going to be able to use this against the whole town, causing them to do things against their own will, so that's why people do things against their own will, so if he said he can do this, the Soviet engineer say he could, from Russia said he could do, make people do things against their own will, that would mean, with this technology, you would you'd be able to create criminals. Now you're seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes. If you could use this technology to make people do things against their will, which I'm seeing, which is a part of this program, I'm seeing it firsthand as being a so-called targeted, empowered individual. I'm seeing this with my own eyes. So people are being manipulated by this technology because they don't have any hedge or faith. They're just open, right? They're just an open portal. So this would mean you'd be able to be, create all types of criminals with this technology. So this is what the CIA have been doing, creating criminals. And therefore, if you can create criminals, then you can create crime. If you can create crime, then you can get more funding. Ah, see? <laughs> you see how it works, right? So they need crime because crime is profitable to these agencies. Because if there's no more crime, then these agencies will have to shut down. That's why they give you the boogeyman. Oh, ISIS. You know, ISIS, Boko Haram. You know, all of the, all of the, all these, these different so-called terror groups. Which they fund themselves. And it says, Baba Kishah. And causing them to do things against their own will and against their better judgment and see and hear things. Which, and don't get too mad. A lot of these people that are doing what they're doing, some of them were against their own will. Some of them were blackmailed. Some of them were actually threatened. Well, if you don't do it, we're gonna we're gonna threaten you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make your liver. We're gonna make your life a living hell. Don't try not to get too mad at people, because you don't know what they've been told. You don't know what had they had to do. You don't know, fully, completely. Right. We're going to shut off soon. Um, one more part of this article, one more page, and we're shut off. Police follow orders, by the way. Yeah, your police are involved as well. And who's who who would run the police? Because the police are just low level what foot soldiers. Military. So who controls the police? Military. So now what we're, we're seeing this is a pecking order, right? Elites, um, priests, high priests, chief priests, witches. Military, police, and on down. So this is a military. The police are following orders on the military-led organization, major components of the organization. Now we're going to tell you all the components that are targeting, not just me, the brothers across the globe and sisters. This is a worldwide thing. Bro, I'm watching videos. I'm telling you, give it four years ago, I never knew nothing about so-called gang stalking. I never knew about all these technologies, man. So who's to say they weren't using it upon you when you were in the world? Now I know about it. So the major components of this organization, basically, these are gonna, these are the names of those you're being targeted by. 
community-based agents. So those that are, yeah, next door to you, across the road to you, um, five doors away, two doors away. They're your community-based agents. Your post office, your local post office, your local stores, they're your community-based agents. They're set up to basically talk shit, right? Trying to confuse you, trying to manipulate you. That's what they did, and to do fair to and to lie on you. Right? And I noticed as well, one of the major stores, one of the stores I go into, now they've put a camera at the top of the store. That's been it, bro. I never knew this truth was that powerful. This how this how powerful the truth makes you. You have to do all of that. So it's like every link, every single step that you're taking is being, everything you do is being seen. But I don't want you to focus on that. Because it's designed for you to focus on that, to get your mind off the truth. Right? Because you have a strong will, bro. And I'm going to keep saying this, you have a strong will. These agencies know that. They've dealt with people like you in the past and it was very, very hard. Right? Just look at the profits. <laughs> Right, you can't really break someone's will. Someone that's wholly, wholly inspired, you can't really break their will. Under military, hold on, community based agents. So just know the people around you, a lot of them know what's going on. Um, electric corps, EC, electric operations, which deal with the electromagnetic fields, right? And these people don't need to be near the ones that deal with these. They could be, they could be miles off running this right and control center these are the major these are the major ones that are controlling things the control center the control center is basically the control center is basically via right control center room okay which are startsy nazi type tactics running this from a room right that's where they're controlling it from right a room that's why it's con con control center. All right, you see it on this them them programs, right? That twenty four hours, you have these people, right? Traffic lights, or he just walked past this way. Yeah, the <laughs> traffic lights, um, stores now. Yeah, the control center rooms, they're linked in with the stores as well, and it's even worse now because now you have them in your houses. Yeah, right. Depending on what source of technology they've put up. Right, so it's the control centers. They're the ones that have basically an eye on everything that's going on, because they have links to what communications, different com form of communications that where you're walking. So you know when you go through a city center, the control center can see you. Well, if you're in a if you're in a control center, right? This is where most of the target is coming from. Most of it, right? Here comes the helicopters, right? I might as well cover up my ears. <laughs> You see, these are all tactics. Bear me just a minute. You hear how loud that is? You know what that's designed to do? You know what that's designed to do? Mess up your psyche. You see what I'm saying? It's spiritual warfare. It's, you know what I'm saying? But I'm putting you on game. The scriptures, the scriptures are putting you on game. This is a war, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a covert war. The average person say, "No, bro, it's a helicopter, bro. You're not that special. Who do you think you are?" No, they've been told to do that. Remember, psyop operation. Nobody else is supposed to know, except that person. Right? Right? And it was happening years and years ago. But your silly ass wouldn't pay attention, which was good. Because the more you pay attention to it, the more they turn it up. It's all based on your getting your attention. Okay, these things were happening years ago. Right? And it says, my book is show, we're going to shut off soon. And on site, supervisors as well, yeah. Field operation people, these are all the people that are involved. Psychologists, which I told you, psychiatrists are okay. Advanced computer. Let me just check. Everything's still running, right? Oh, yeah, we're still running. We're going to shut off soon.
advanced computer, right? Advanced computer communication. So the contractors also will have very advanced supercomputers, quantum computers, and they can see in your houses. And you also have Stingray, known as Stingray trucks. The Stingray trucks, they pull up to basically say you got Wi Fi on, they're able to gather that data from their Stingray truck. All they need is an antenna, signal, and this supercomputer, and they can gather all your data, pass it on, and do whatever they, because they say in military, if they can control the data, they can control the outcome of the person and what people think. So they take that data to their advantage, right? All this is happening. So communication systems and computer programs, and this is how they're able to track you via AI, right? And where you walk, and they just have per people on the phone saying, walk this way, walk that way, right? Elements of secret service is what? Gang stalking, operations, surveillance is foundation of all operators. So, key thing, surveillance is foundation of all operators. Field operations, people. Computer program predicts. So, have you ever wondered why you may go a certain route? And people can find out what route you're going. Because the computer's already, it's already predicted that. Right? And for your control centers, they can see where you're going. That's if you're going past traffic lights and particular cities. Oh, we just see him, we got him on camera. Would you follow him there? Right? And you know what this sounds like to me? This is the new world order. This is all spiritual. Goes back to what? The beast and those that are worshipping the beast. Everything is biblical. So don't ever, don't ever look at these things well. Uh, it's, it's, it has nothing to, they want you to think it has nothing to do with the scriptures. The moment you think that now you're going to start losing it, it has everything to do with the Bible. Everything. Right? You've got those that serve the beast and you have those that serve the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai and the heavenly father. That's what it is. They serve Satan. We serve Yahweh Shai. Right? And the computer predicts whereabouts... And because it's predicting your whereabouts, now, the more it does that, the more they're able to sabotage. This is based on sabotage as well, right? But when you, but, but that can't, I don't really focus on that because when you look at what these people are doing, you're doing the work of the Lord, you have a shy. Then when you come back, wherever you are, they're just told to, what, stand there, he's going to come your way. Oh, well, uh, you know, he, well, what's he do? It's just, it's sabotage. It's to make you feel like, Whatever effort you're making is not good enough. Right? It's to make you feel that way. It's to make you feel incompetent. Right? Like you're not getting nowhere. Bro, you are getting somewhere. Look at what the, what look at what your is doing. Bro. I have people coming to the camp giving me gifts, um, good words. Not everybody's in on it, by the way. Not everybody is in on it. A lot of people are in on it, but not everybody. Remember, psychological warfare. It's to make you feel like you can't trust anybody, that everybody's against you. It's a psychological tactic, right? The sabotage is to make you feel like, well, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe sure I should stop teaching. It's to let the target know they're completely hopeless to stop harassment. <laughs> and helpless and you can't stop the harassment. Now, can you stop the harassment? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Or you could slow it down. How? By taking up your authority in Yahweh Shai. See, stick to the scriptures. Yahweh Shai said, I've given you authority to tread upon serpents and, <laughs> and scorpions. And not by, but by no means shall anything hurt you. So we're stepping on them. You've seen the times we go out. The witches, the warlocks, they're in complete fear. Right? And it says Baba Kasha. Incentives are offered to neighbours now. This is where they start. How do how do they get certain people involved? By incentives. Money. Oh, you know people love money, right? They do anything for a bit of money. Not me. Right? So they give them money. They give them a new car. I have my neighbours. All of a sudden, they get new cars. Yeah, they were giving them cars. I was their payout. <laughs> I was their payout. Really, they should thank me. Really, you should be thanking me. <laughs> right? And... They offer incentives, new cars. They might give you a dusty ass mini. They may give you a they may give you a Jeep, 
Right? Or whatever. They give you some dusty ass. It doesn't matter. Even if it's a new car, it doesn't mean anything anyway. That's like you selling your soul. Right? So you have people selling their soul basically to harass you. To try to make your life harder. So they offer incentives to friends, family, even your family. Yeah. Promise certain money, gift cards, you know. And watch out for their insurance. Watch out for them insurance policies as well. Because they will say, you know what? Yeah, he's under targeting. If anything happens to him, you know, we give you a payout. You know, we're just we're just experimenting. If anything happens, we give. You watch out for those schemes. Watch out for those things. These things are going on, right? Community members to, and yes, if something happens to you, these people get a payout as well. There, bro, there's money behind it. There's mo You think people just do anything for nothing, right? There's money behind this. Right? Community members to cooperate, co cooperate it basically psyops. Perceived threat, a state of interest. So remember, for them to do that, they're told lies. Um this guy, he's um he's a perceived threat. Please don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. You know? Bro, you think I haven't seen that? I've seen that years ago. From years now. You go into a store, people start acting funny. Right? It gets silent. Two state interest, so see. A threat. So, in other words, you're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Um, it says a threat to the state's interest. Why? Because Yahawashai, he wasn't for the Roman Empire. Okay. Dissidents, terrorists, asymmetr asymmetrical threats, irregular threats, insurgents. So, they're trying to put, they're trying to paint us out to be some type of insurgents, basically. <laughs> and di dissidents, right? Let me see if I can get some scriptures up on this. Alright, bear me just a minute. Um, Got Luke 21. And when you go to John, you know when it says, If all men will believe on him, he shall go, he shall what? Take away our place and nation within Rome. That was Yahawashai, seen as a threat. Because he had pool power, he had influence. So all these things, I do take it as a compliment, man. And um, man... The visions I was having in my first year, my first year within the truth, when I was coming to camp, I think I told brothers about the visions, right? I told a few brothers about the visions. I had a vision that there was cars parked around my house. There was cars parked out, blue, grey, red. There was police cars and there was officers. These were armed up. These were armed officers from head to toe and they were surrounding my house. Now look at what's happened. Now look at what's happened, bro. That's prophecy. I'm not making this up. I had that vision. I think it was the first year or two years coming to camp when I used to go Oxford Street. That happened. Now it's happening now. You can't make this up. So the Lord will give you visions of certain things that are going to happen in the future. And I had that vision. I've sure done a testimony in it somewhere, one of the videos. I had that vision. Right? And they were surrounding the house. Right, they were trying to get through the gates, and they didn't come in though. They didn't come in. It was like they were an angel was blocking them, but they were waiting outside. There was all type of different cars, and now that's happening, bro. This is that was like a vision to come. Now it's happened. So when it did happen, I wasn't surprised because I was like, wow, I had that vision. This is more real than you can think of. Brothers don't really know what you're involved in, you know. Brothers don't really know what you're involved in. You're see, you're seen as a dissident. You're seen as a troublemaker. You're seen as um, some type of activist. Right? Okay. And there were certain clues that particular of your neighbours were agents anyway. Because I heard one of my neighbours a long time ago say, um, right, um, what was it? One of them said, um, what was it? What was it? Um, if you want something, you gotta you gotta go out, you gotta go out and get it. You gotta make noise. Something like that. Something, something under them lines. They were, that means they were watching me. They were eavesdropping. But everything's being revealed now. And that's why they're pissed off as well, some people. Because I'm not saying all. Yeah, a lot of people were watching you from the beginning. They were placed there. Now, because you've woken up, oh, they're pissed off. Oh, well, uh, you wasn't supposed to know. No, I was supposed to know that you were a devil. I was supposed to know that. And you even had people with it on their cars. They had devil. Who puts devil on their license plate? Who the hell puts a devil on their license plate? Unless you're a devil. You know, certain things. 
all them signs, man, all them signs. A lot of things were going on, right? There was cameras placed in the alleyways, all types of things going on that I was seeing earlier on. I'm bro, I'm telling you, earlier on, right? It's not that I never saw it. I did see it. But now it's coming. It's Things are more clear now as time goes on, right? It's like they never wanted you to see it. And that's why you become a threat because you're able to see what's going on within society. They don't want you to see that. Right? According to them, you should just be shut up, shut up, be blind, don't see. So, this is going to happen. Go to Luke 21, check this out. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, deliver you up to synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. This, this is going to happen. And you shall turn to you for a testimony, a witness. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate, but what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. This is going to happen. So, a case is being built. A case is being built up. Watch out for setups. I always say that. Watch out for setups. Not, don't be paranoid, but just watch out for setups. You don't put yourself in a situation where people can try to set you up. You just, just be wise. Right? Because remember, these people got spirits on them. Right? Wicked are spirits. So let's go back to this article. Where was we? Where was we? Where was we? Um, went to that. Okay. So yeah, they offer incentives to these people. And bro, I'm seeing early on, they're taking these incentives. They're taking these incentives to lie about you. So if they're doing that now... If they're doing that now, what's gonna happen when all hell breaks loose? So I've been put on I've been put on game. Like Yahavash has been showing me things early. Who to trust, who not to trust. Right? And communi community members to cooperate, basically a psyops perceived threat to in interest, descendants, terrorists, asymmetrical threats, irregular threats. We already talked about that. Um who try to persuade the populace? Listen, <laughs> who try to persuade the populace? You know when we're teaching it. You know when I'm teaching this Bible, right? It is an act of persuasion. The pop, they don't want that, right? They want people. Oh, now just go back to work. Go back to work. Be a good slave. And that's why they have people rushing out of their buildings. Come out of the building, please, because they don't want people waking up. And to accept, right? So to persuade the populace to accept political change right political change now in terms of politics right these, these people get mad see tracing it back to where your targeting has everything to do with those that have been in the parliament so you may want to look at the, the the committee right those that are giving laws and so you may want to look at them right and start writing some letters or you know contacting certain people right it all it says the populace to accept political change. Now, the Messiah was he was he doing or was he a conservative? No. W was he was he was he Labour? No. And all that all that's foolishness anyway. Uh, uh, conservative, uh, uh, you know, bro. Soon there's no there, there ain't gonna be no conservative. Soon there ain't gonna be no lib liberal Democrat. Soon is this is gonna be rich and broke, dirt poor. That's all there's gonna be. Right? Because these people, they're actors. And who are they serving? The elites. Everyone, every member of the parliament, they're serving, right? The elites. I always say it's the same company. That they work, they're all working for the same company. But that's another form of confusion. It's fair to. Politics is fair to. Oh, let's, let's come into the commons and let's pretend to argue against each other. That's all fair to because they all work for the same people. And whoever goes into parliament or is elected, that's already decided by your elites. It's not decided by you. It's supposed to be decided by the people, which is democracy for the people. But we don't really have a democracy. We don't really have a democracy, right? Because your leaders, right? And the people in parliament, they believe in the communist manifesto. Britain is a communist country now. It's a communist country. And therefore, that's why you have martial law. Therefore, you have all these things going on. Right? 
they will have you thinking, oh yeah, oh vote, please vote. Uh, we bro, that never mattered anyway. Even if you are voting, because guess who has the last say? Who goes into office? The elites, the rough charts. And if they don't want you to be there, they remove you out. Right? Simple as that. Okay? Get it through your heads. I always say politics is a fool's game. Right? And it's like an agenda. It's same. It's that like with banking. It's one, two, three. They're given a formula, right? You do A, B, and C, you get this much money. Right? And, you know, go about your life. That's what politics is. Right? It's, 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 it's all it's, it's business and it's theatre. You know, you play the game. You act a certain way. When, when have you seen... When, None of the politicians are really for you. They're not for you. They're, they're protecting the interests of the bankers. Right? They just give you not, nothing but lies. Oh, man. Mm. And why have you got 40 miles per hour roads, right, where children are walking past, where there's children's schools? Why have you got 40 miles per hour lanes? Shouldn't it be 20 miles per hour? 40 miles per hour. You could, you could run someone out. If you get hit at 40 miles per hour... There ain't no chance of survival. Huh? Why are the politicians talking about that? Huh? Full of shit. Full of shit. Right? Put your trust in the uh, politician. You better put your trust in the Lord. And that's another reason why you could be targeted. Because you're not with you're not you're not with any type of political um structure. Right now, I do watch. I do like to watch what goes on within the politic p politic structure because it's interesting and it affects our lives. The, the decisions they make affects our lives. Right? Oh, I'm conservatives. The conservative they're hella corrupt as well. Right? Conservatives. Right? And it says Baba Kisha. Where was I? We're gonna shut off soon. These are groups of individuals not under... Ah, check this out. These are groups of individuals... Don't this sound similar to the truth and to these camps? These are groups of individuals not under government control. Are you listening? <laughs> Why? Because we follow what the Messiah says. They don't want that. Against established leadership. Now, bear me just a minute. Hold that right there. Against established leadership. That's a lie. I quickly want to look for something in Matthews because the Messiah was asked something. And you had wicked Jews as well at that time that were saying, oh, he's against Caesar. He's against, oh, right on the page, Matthew 22 and 16. Go to verse 15. Then when the Pharisees took the counsel how they might entangle him in his talk and he sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians saying, Master, we know that art true and teaches the way of the heavenly father in truth neither carest pay attention thou for any person for the regard is not the person of men tell us therefore what thinkest thou is it lawful to give tribute unto caesar or not so should we give tribute and caesar was the ruler at that time but yahweh shall perceive their wickedness and said why tempt me ye hypocrites show me the tribute money and they brought him unto a penny and he saith unto them who is this image and subscription they say unto him, Caesar's, then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar, which which is things which are Caesar's, and unto the heavenly father, the things that are the heavenly father's. See? And when they heard this, these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. So the Messiah was very, very wise. So I don't teach any brother in this truth, yeah, let's rise up against the government. I don't teach that. I don't teach none of that. Right? Okay, just got this rain cloud passing above my head, which is spiritual within itself, right? So, I don't teach that. Rise up against the government. I don't, we don't teach that at all. Now, the word is anti... Yeah, it is, it is, it is anti-government. You know why? Because you can't have two kings on the rulership, right? But the Messiah never said, don't pay, don't pay. He said, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And render unto me what belongs to me, which is this word, Right? So, no, I don't teach that, right? And under control and against established leadership. So that's how they see us as dissidents, rebels. That's how they see us as rebels. And will be targeted because of action they might take in the future. So that's what they're told. They're, that's what they're telling people. We need to keep an eye on him because uh, the way he's going, 
and some action he might take in the future. It's for your own security. And because the people are dumbasses, they just, you know, feed into it. And basically, yep, I've told you the infrasound is 100, 140 decibels that they can use, can cause effects biologically, can liquefy bowels and destroy organs. And you know about V2K. And this is basically, every, every method that they're using is basically to stop you from functioning as they don't want you to be a functioning being. Every tactic is to stop you from functioning. You understand? You know? I hope I didn't upset brothers and sisters in this, but you have to, you have to know the truth. These are the workers of iniquity. Everybody that's participating in this, they're workers of iniquity. You know? And someone sent me a message. Is, will they be saved? No, you're going to have some... Not everybody that's gang stalking you is going to be destroyed. You're going to have some that repent. Some of them are going to repent. So not every one of your gang stalkers are going to be destroyed. Some will repent from this. Right? Because some don't know what they're doing. So you always still have to show mercy. With everything that's going, still show mercy. Right? Because you don't know who's going to repent from it. But the majority of them will be destroyed if they don't repent. Lord within this was edifying. I didn't even want to go on this long because I've been freeing up so much data. Right? So, I Lord willing, <laughs> we're nearly two hours into this. Lord willing, right? You've been edified, right? And this is basically breaking down everything. Who's involved, right? What they're doing. All the corporations. I didn't really. I didn't give. I didn't give the companies names. I need to be careful of that as well because that's another way of how you could become targeted. You don't really want to be giving out companies names and all that. You know what I'm saying? You be, you never know. You could be putting them out of business. Just by giving these names. So these are the people that are involved in this targeting. But some are going to repent. Okay. So with this, I'm going to shut off. You're not on camera, by the way. It's facing me. Uh, and, and the I camera's see you guys here. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm going to walk. All right. All right. Uh, you're like doing a documentary or something. Well, no, it's not a documentary. I'm uh, bringing awareness. I'm Basically, I'm teaching the Bible. And I'm bringing awareness on this new, new term. I'm going to shut up the camera. 